attention on the interview we just had. I asked Joseph to show me a little bit around and uh, tell me a little bit more about the details and what I'm seeing here. So Joseph, what's this? What's going on here? <laughs> All right, so the, the three key things that I want to talk about here. As you can see, this is one of the columns yeah. that were erected here for the building. If you move closer, yeah. the first part of this system is the, is the, is the form that has, been, that has been created. In the conventional way, you would need to have tasks yeah. and forms to be able to do this. But the advantage of the 3D is that it prints the cast and the cast becomes part of the structure. Okay, wow. So the first part is this, and you can kind of see that the design that we have used here is a special design with a stronger shear strength in order for it to be able to uh, withstand the, uh, the workload that we're going to put on okay. top of the building. So the second part, of course, is the rebar, which is yep. what you're seeing here in conventional building is the same way in, in 3D printing. We use rebar. An important component that I wanted to show here is this joint system. This joint system is extremely essential in the, in the, in the 3D construction um, arena. This system we've used in cases where we print the slab, and of course, while the machine is on site and is printing, it cannot print around such a, such a, a huge structure. So okay. the systems become part of the mesh, which is the beginning part of this reinforcement that comes from the ground. Okay. And it allows us to, to now print around, and once we're done with the column printing, we're able to pull, lift this, and put it right into those systems, and then pour the concrete to give it the strength that it needs. So this is how we do things, and this is extremely fast, extremely durable, and extremely inexpensive method of construction. Yeah, because you don't have to make a separate plastic. That right? is exactly that's right, so and we don't have waste as well, because the machine produces this, and it uses the exact amount of cement that it needs. There's no waste on the ground anywhere that you can see. Pollution is not around, so there's quite a lot of advantage to using 3D construction technology to the conventional. You don't have to take off this costing, right? And we don't have to take anything off. This just becomes, and you can see, it has decorative pattern. And this gives you the look and feel. And as a matter of fact, if I, if I can talk about this for a second, yeah. this is our latest technology in design for patterns. Uh, right behind me here, oh, yeah, it's different. The, 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 the way that this happens usually is that it happens in a spiral, the prints print in a spiral fashion. So it goes round and around and it prints layer of cement over layer of cement. So if you look at that wall pattern, you will see it has lines in it. Yeah. And those are the different layers of construction that you see. But this is an advanced method. Okay. This is not something that hand can build. This is the woven pattern. So this is just different. And this is what a lot of people that come here, they just cannot get their head around it. How did you do this is the question that people ask us. But again, technology can do anything. The only challenge is human limitation. Yeah. But when you put the design in the computer, the computer can do endless possibilities. It prints whatever you put at it. And that just shows you the advanced capability in designing and doing whatever you want with this technology. Right. Joseph, thanks for explaining. Yes. So Joseph, I've seen some foundation groundwork going on here. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? If you think about the conventional construction, okay, uh, construction always starts from the foundation. And in the foundation is what we call footings. The footings are the elements that hold up the columns, that hold the structure. Yes. So what you're seeing here, as opposed to the conventional way, Again, it goes back to no need for forms. So the forms that we built here is all part of the 3D printing. So this is all 3D printed again? This is all 3D printed, absolutely. So and as you can see, uh, the pattern that I was talking about earlier on in our earlier video, this is the spiral uh, fashion of the, of the, of the design. Yeah. So the machine goes round and round and print this, and that's why you can see those layers. So all of this is printed as well, as you can imagine. So each one of those components that you're seeing, they form the footing, which is the legs for the foundation structure. So everything here gets poured solid concrete. So in fact, if I, if I back up a little bit, what you're seeing here yeah. is sitting on one of those. Okay, okay, I understand. Okay, so this entire system, rim, rebar, it's all tied to the, to the rebar mesh that has been built in the footing and it continues all the way to the last floor of the building and that ties to the bond beam, which is the structure that holds the roof of the building. So from ground to up? From ground all, all the way, so it's all tied together. Okay. So, and the reason we do that is to prevent the building from heavy wind. So if you can imagine that every single column that you're seeing ties back to the underground and then it holds the roof. So for something to knock the building down, it has to pull the entire structure as a box and knock it down, and it's impossible. And that's the strength that you get from the technology that we have. 
extremely strong. Extremely strong. Yes. Thanks for explaining. Thank you very much.